So in this video, we will discuss some more additional features of uh, Report Studio. So, so far we have covered creating simple reports, creating charts, how to add totals. So let's get into some more uh, neat stuff. So let's let's talk about filters. So here as you see this, uh, this funnel shape with a yellow um, color, this is called a filter. So as as probably the name mention a uh, name signifies filter allows you to create a filter for the report so we can use this or we can use the query um, to create a filter so for example we get the query and so here as you see here we have a detail filter so let's say we want to create a filter uh, for where total sales amount or sales amount is greater than you know five thousand dollars so here we uh, we drag this one here Actually, you have to drag from the um, from the yeah okay. So let's cancel this one. Okay, so let's drag it from. You should drag it from here, not from. So sell amount. Okay, so we it's greater than ten thousand. Maybe let's say five thousand. So now we created a filter and see here is our expression. And if we run the report you'll see only five more than 5,000 uh, sales amount is showing up. Okay, I think there was a little problem with creating the filter, but let's, um, here you see a report without the filter and see our field is an aggregated cell amount right and we have uh, so 16,000 19,000 and 66,000 so let's create a filter where we want to filter out this row which is 66,000 so let's create a filter where we say that the cell am aggregate cell amount is less than maybe 50,000 so with that let's create a filter so this is our aggregate cell amount so let's put it here and then we say this is less than 50,000. So, and now let's run the report. Okay, coming back to the cells, uh, the filter here, as you see, we have defined a filter with cells amount greater than 10,000. Now let's run the report. So, since we have uh, in our report we have uh, let's get our report designer here so here we are displaying each and every transaction because we have added um, the quarter also uh, so we will we will group it by the quarter and we will display only the transactions uh, which would have uh, the uh, which would have the uh, amount greater than 10,000. So let's just for clarity, let's get the, uh, let's add the date also here. Sell uh, date. Okay, so let's run, run the report. Okay, so let's. Okay, so as you see, all our sales amount are greater than 10,000. Okay, so that shows the filter is effective. Okay, so now let's talk about another feature called uh, prompts. Now for always, you know, some reports where when it runs, it should ask the end user something. 
So now I'll show you how to create uh, prompts. So for example, let's say we want to, when we run the report, we want user to enter the quarter. Uh, so to get started, <coughs> again, you choose the toolbox, and then there is something called value prompt, uh, So which is here. So let's add a value prompt here. Uh, so we want to add it underneath. So now the way the value prompt works is uh, it creates first to create a, a prompt you have to create a parameter. So so let's say parameter name is quarter. So as you think about it as if you know you are passing a parameter to the um, report. Now we, uh, if you had already had some already defined parameters then you could have used that. Um, so let's say this is quarter and then now the way Cognos works is that for parameters it creates a drop down with the existing parameters. So to create the drop down we have to tell Cognos that what value it should, uh, what field it should take. So in our case it is quarter name. Okay, so the operator is um, equals to. So that means we want when they enter quarter equal to four, then we want the report to get the results where quarter equals to what the value entered. So this is parameter. So now uh, do next. And the values to display again is, okay, uh, so this is applied to query one. And the values to display again is quarter. So what that means is that Sometimes you, if you have um, you know, some sort of ID and description field, then you can use uh, an ID column to filter, but to display uh, you know, a different column. So it's, it's something like uh, when you fill up a form in the web and you have a drop down, and internally it create it, you know, when, even though you see. Uh, the string or a descriptive value, but internally it's basically stores the ID or submits the ID when you uh, do a form submit. So something along those lines. So values to use is basically uh, the ID and the uh, values to display is the name. So let's finish it and we can call it query quarter. So this is, see why it is a query because Cognos internally defines a query to build up that drop-down form. So, so once we create it, okay, so now if we run it, you will be a little bit more clear. Okay, before we uh, run it, I think let's, I forgot to do something. Um, there is, this, so this is the properties of our parameter. Now there's something called auto submit. This one you have to set it to yes. Okay. Uh, this one auto submit equal to yes. So these will enable when you choose a uh, parameter from the drop down, it will automatically. You don't have to press OK or anything. It will automatically filter out the results. So I think we got pretty much everything. So let's run it. Okay. So we say finish which will kick off the report. So as you see here, provide a value here, we have to, now see, Cognos has built up this drop down using the query quarter which you have defined. So let's say, we want to choose query quarter, and then we hit OK. So as you see, we have only quarter two results. Now, if we put quarter one, it will give quarter one results. Now because we have some, did auto submit equal to yes, that's why, it displays the results. If you had not defined auto submit equal to uh, yes, then you would not, have, would not have been seeing the results. So that's the way you define uh, a pr uh, prompts. Uh, so I think in this video we talked about filters, we talked about um, prompts. Um, just to recap, prompts, you have prompts is associated with a query and also a parameter and you can uh, 
and then you are familiar with already with aggregates and uh, i think there are a few more uh, things and with that uh, we will pretty much wrap the wrap up the the uh, the report studio